Hey guys, my name is Sanjay and welcome to The Gentleman's Plate. Let's talk Korean food. If you've been anywhere on YouTube in the past few years, you're sure to have come across a few mukbang videos. And one of the most popular dishes in the mukbang series are spicy Korean rice cakes, also known as dakboki. This dish is traditionally made with seafood stock, served with fish and sometimes eggs. However, this popular Korean street food can easily be made vegan with a few simple swaps. First of all, the star of the show and the main ingredient is duck. <laughs> Duck is a cylindrical rice noodle or rice cake that has a chewy texture of mozzarella. They come in two shapes, either coin shaped or tubular. Either one of these work in this recipe, but the tubular one is the more traditional version. We will need roughly two cups or about 400 grams of duck. Next we have gochujang, which is a fermented Korean pepper paste. I know what you're thinking, and it's actually not as spicy as you think it might be. It also has a great umami flavor because it's fermented. We need about 1 tablespoon of the gochujang. To add a little more heat, we'll need gochugaru, which are coarse Korean chili flakes. 1 tablespoon is all we need here. You can easily find these 3 ingredients from your local Korean grocery store or Asian supermarket. Or check out the Amazon affiliate links in the description of this video below. Next, you'll need 2 cups of vegetable broth or vegan dashi. You can check out my previous video on how to make vegan dashi linked below. You can also use water if you're in a bind, but the dashi really brings out the true Korean flavor. Finally, we will need 1 tablespoon of pure cane sugar, 1 tablespoon of regular soy sauce, 3 green onions, roughly chopped, and 1 teaspoon of sesame seeds for garnish. First, place the duck in a bowl and cover with hot water, not necessarily boiling, but almost. Let it soak for about 10 minutes so they can soften up. Next, begin heating the dashi or broth in a large pan. Add the gochujang, gochugaru, sugar, and soy sauce, and mix well. Just when the broth starts to come to a boil, add in your strained duck and turn the heat down to a medium. Cook this until the sauce is reduced to about half. Make sure to keep stirring the pot because the rice cakes like to stick. Listen to that simmer. About 15 minutes the sauce will reduce by about half. You want to keep tasting it and adjusting the seasoning as you like. If you like it saucy, you can stop here. Honestly, I like it thick, so I'm going to cook it for another 5 minutes. Once it's reached your desired thickness, turn off the heat and stir in the green onions. See guys, Korean food is not that intimidating after all. Subscribe to this channel for more vegan friendly Korean recipes coming soon. And as always, you can find full recipe descriptions and measurements at my blog at www.thegentlemansplate.com. Thanks for watching.